this is the Lambretta gearbox. After opening the gearbox, you will find such type of in the gearbox. We will see after opening this gearbox. After opening the gearbox, the space will look like this. Gearbox, gearbox means nothing. The gears are accommodated in this place. That's what we are calling this space as a gearbox. That's all. It is uh, very simple. The tools we need are 11 h socket and one ratchet. You can start opening with any one of these. There must be washer 100% to lock these nuts. Once all removed, you can lift it like this with the screwdriver. Otherwise, just tight it like this and here. Lift it. It is out. This is called end plate. This is washer. All these things are very very important. This is called end plate. The end plate will look like this. Keep all washers here. It's like a collar, you will find bearing, needle bearing along with one washer. This is also very very important. Every component from starting, I use it to tell every part is very very important. This is another end plate type. There is a pattern number here, 191005. This is the number and whereas it is not having any pattern number. This is the bearing, here the same bearing. I tell you one thing, when, when the bearing and the collar is removed, the plate will look like this. It is of APA. There is also pattern number here, part number. This is the collar. It will sit like this. It is press fitted. This collar is press fitted. This is for uh, for better understanding. I am showing all the parts. Once you remove the needle bearing and the washer, the first thing you will find. This is called shim. After that. First gear, this is the gear, these are called oil slots. I tell you why all these things are provided, I will explain you. These are also called oil slots. Here also oil slots are there, here also oil slots are there. This is the first gear. This is the second gear, it's of APA one. It is third gear. Every gear having oil slots except the fourth one. Once you remove all the gears, all four gears, remove this. This is called gear cluster. That means all gears for meshing is provided on the one shaft. People call it as a Christmas tree. That is different thing, but the technical name is gear cluster. After removing the gear cluster, you will find one washer again. Beneath the washer, you will find 
one needle bearing. After that, there is again one collar like thing provided for accommodating the needle bearing. This is called lay shaft. We will remove this also. And this is called wishbone. That means for operating the gear selector. The pins are provided here. Here. Once you place this plate, this is called end plate. Once you place this, there should not be slack in this. That's what they provided the pins here and here. For exact fitment, there should not be uh, the tolerance, the play tolerance is 0%. This is very, very important. Make sure these two are present here. Sometimes what happens, these pins comes, when you pull, these pins, securing pins will come along with this. Then also don't worry, but keep them safe. This is very, very important. I tell you one very important thing while placing the gates. Watch very carefully, I tell you. This is the fourth gear. The fourth gear will look like this. This portion is called Bosch. This rising portion is called... This rising portion is called Bosch. Whenever you place, place the fourth gear facing the Bosch to the sky. Remember this, to the sky. The remaining three gears to the earth this is very very important and very very simple i will show you place this this is the fourth gear which i am placing it's gone after that what you will do you will place this needle bearing in this after that what you are doing you are simply replacing this okay now it's free what i said is that the fourth one, the fourth gearing Bosch, this boss, is to the sky, remaining all three, to the earth, very simple. This is the third gear, this is the Boshing, very simple, it is going, it is going towards down, you need not to take it as a very big thing. Third gear inserted, now coming to the second gear, again, see the Boshing. Again to the downwards. Now the first gear, the boshing, this bosh down. Very simple. Very simple. After that, you are placing the shim. Again, you are placing the washer. Again, you are placing this. After that, you are. After placing the end plate, again you are placing this washer, later on you are building the clutch. We will see that also. I hope it is very simple to understand. This is the other set of gears. Now I tell you about the lubrication. These are the four gears. They are getting lubricated in the gearbox. The lubrication is very very important. After opening the gears, watch carefully for any pittings. Soak them in kerosene or wipe it uh, with uh, WD-40. There should not be any pittings and there should not be any damage on the teeth, at, especially at the first gear. Uh, for all the gears, uh, the standard must be same. There should not be any damage. If there is any damage on this gear, the kick, the kick rod will slip. And this is of APA. As I removed these from the scrapped engine, the, for information I am showing, check all the gears thoroughly. It is a general inspection. If you watch this, you will find some pittings here. Wipe it thoroughly. If the pitting is more, then you have to change the parts. Otherwise, we, there will be a problem while operation of the engine and uh, we cannot expect the desired results. This is the fourth gear and this is the third gear. For example, I am showing for the third gear bossing is facing like this. Second gear bossing is facing like this. After that, the first gear bossing is facing like this. For example, I am showing when you watch, you will uh, find the gap. These two bosses are facing together and the oil slots are provided here. When, when you apply the gear, when the gear rotates, the oil passes through 
the entire area including these slots and the whole gear area will be lubricated with the lubricant uh, this is the gear cluster on the first gear you will find 11 teeth and on the gear 50 teeth on the second 14 teeth and on the gear 41 teeth on the third 17 teeth on the gear 37 on the fourth you will find 20 and on the gear 34 you can count them also you can uh, i said this is the first i placed my hand here this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven likewise and on the gear when you count there will be 50 teeth and this is the sequence close gear ratio is uh, different i hope this video is useful let us meet again